Hello, it's Dawn. I didn't think I, well, no, I knew I could make it to this video, but instead of saying I did it, I'm saying I'm doing it. Because if I said I did it, then it would seem like it's final and I'm going to go to the bar after this. <laughs> I am doing it. I am at 365 days of sobriety. And anybody that knows me knows this is a big deal. I started this um, on a whim. I honestly, okay, so go back and listen. Um, if you haven't, I'll put it somewhere. I don't know. How, I'll just put it somewhere. Um, and listen, it was an audio because I wasn't doing videos yet. And it was basically just to give myself some accountability and say, you know, I'm going to try this. It was all trying. I didn't know what to expect. I was hoping that I would get to today, but I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. And again, anybody that has known me for any amount of time knows I loved drinking. I was, I excelled at drinking. I was an extremely thirsty person and I drank from probably, well, Hayden and Jules, if you're listening to this, don't. Um, I probably started drinking when I was like 14. I can't remember exactly when. Sorry, mom. And, um, you know, high school, that was just it. I didn't get into smoking pot. It was not for me. I was all about the drunk. And whether it was Bartles and James or whatever, warm beer, wherever we could get it, I, that's what I was doing. And... Um, it just progressed and it progressed and it progressed. And uh, then I switched to wine. I thought I was going to be fancy and I switched to wine, um, uh, probably in my third, no, probably forties and, uh, went through a really bad divorce. Um, and it was just coping. I don't know. I don't know why I originally drank. I think it was just a numbing fun. I I never was like a mad or sad drunk to my recollection. Sorry to anyone that can recall other, but I, um, I just, I love to drink. I just had fun with it. I, I don't know. Uh, to me, it just enhanced my personality and, um, which I, I, I am not shy. I didn't need the, I'm not an introvert. Clearly I didn't need something to help me come out and be social, but I just had fun with it. I thought it was fun. Um, <clears throat> as I talked about in my other episode, it was like, uh, the fear of seeing pictures the next day, uh, the fear of what did I do? Uh, cause most of the time I did black out. I drank to excess and I actually did a podcast episode with a gentleman um, who said that being an alcoholic is not necessarily about the drinking. It's the, it's the wanting more, 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 more. And that was me. I would be wasted at home, out with friends. I would be wasted and continue to drink, continue to drink. I would get home from being at a family event and be drunk, wasted drunk and stay up and drink more. So I cannot say what happened. I have no idea. That's why I cannot say I got home from, um, a year ago, my husband and I went out for his birthday and I had one of the best drinks in my life. It was at a restaurant and it was, um, I can't even tell you, I, it was like a bourbon or whiskey or something like that and molds, blueberries. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was delicious. And I even asked them how to make it <clears throat> because I wanted to make it, you know, for myself at home. And the next morning, I just woke up and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, be I believe it was divine intervention. Believe in God, believe in higher spirit, self, higher power. You can believe in whatever you want. More power to you. For me, it was divine intervention from God. That's all the only way I can explain it. Because my willpower sucks. I'm a former smoker. I don't work out. I cannot get myself to, um, 
I eat well, but I also indulge. I'll grab crap and eat it. I, you know, I just, I am not the type of personality that can just quit drinking. I did quit smoking cold turkey. Um, so I knew I had it in me, but what I'm trying to say is for me, it should have not been as easy as it's been. And I only say it's been easy because I don't think about it. I don't think about it. I see it on TV and commercials. I'm around my friends when they're drinking. I'm around my family when they're drinking. And I feel like been there, done that kind of mentality. Like, good for you. Enjoy yourself. Have a great time. I have drank so much my entire life. I don't know what else I can experience. I don't know what else I need to drink for. I felt like um, I told my husband, maybe I'll just do this for like a month. And then instead, I'll just have a drink on a holiday or, you know, no, no, it, it, that just doesn't work for me a little. No, never. It's little. Oh, okay. Then I would like an entire keg of beer after having one, not just one. That is not Dawn. Dawn is let's go. Let's do this. Let's have it all there. Oh, you ran out. Let's go get more and then more and then call somebody and have them bring even more. Um, so here we are. And what if I, what have I learned over this last year? Well, I've learned that I can have fun without drinking. I have learned that it is wonderful to wake up feeling good and not hungover. I learned that I don't have anxiety the next day after being at a thing and I can remember all of it. I remember conversations that I've had. I've been holding my grandbabies and enjoying it and not sloppy. Um, yeah, not regretting or thinking about, did I say something? Did I do something? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. Did I drop a bunch of weight? I don't know. I doubt it. Um, I know I lost some of the bloatiness that I had from drinking all the time, but I also ate like crap when I would drink, I would have, you know, all the salt or all the sugar. Cause you, you don't pay attention. You're drunk or you just are in a celebratory type of mood. So you just drink, eat, drink, eat. And this is not me judging anybody. I, if it's not time for you, that's okay. Live your life. And I'm not judging my friends. I'm not judging my family. I'm not, this is not a judging. This is all about how Dawn did it. And I, uh, it's just a celebration video that I did it. I'm so glad and proud. I'm proud of myself. I am. I'm proud of myself because I, I guess I was just ready. And I think this is a good step for me. Ugly cry, ugly cry. I think this is a good step for me. This is just a good introduction to a new chapter for me. I am 53 and, um, why not start new now? Why not start from where I'm at now? You know, see what it's like. I I have no regrets of quitting. None. I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. I don't feel like anything. I, I just feel good. I feel good and I'm glad I did it. And I'm glad I'm doing it. So... If you are wanting to try it and just see, try it. You won't regret trying it. And if you try it and then you go back, don't feel shame about it. Don't feel negative about yourself. You'll know when it's time. I firmly believe that. And I felt that way about smoking. When I got to a point where I would buy cigarettes, but I would only have like one, maybe two a day. I was thinking, why am I doing this? Why? Not that you have to be hardcore, you know, but it was just like, if I'm only going to have one or two, what is the point? <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> um, 
but in my my thing about drinking when I was just want to drink and drink and drink that's the mental thing that came into my mind what was my goal what am I trying to to actually accomplish here if I'm already wasted what is me having more right before bed what what am I doing that for it's not going to enhance my sleep. It's not going to help me feel better in the morning. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. It's like a light bulb went off. And from that moment, done. I'm just done. I didn't go on a health kick. I don't go jogging. I don't um, I lift weights or anything like that. I have been trying to get up and do some exercise and I'm hoping that that takes off. I'm hoping that I can continue on that path, but I really don't care to be one of those annoying people <laughs> that preaches to people what they should do, how they should live and um, get on the sobriety train. No, if you want to be sober, yay, do it. I it's I like it. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. If you don't want to get sober, great. Do your thing. We're all here to live whatever life we want to live. And I feel like I lived my drunk life. I do. I, I do. I want to go back to it. No. No, but if I did, I would hope I wouldn't judge myself. I would hope I would be kind to myself and just say, you know what? Let's try again today. Try right now. If I feel ready, I don't know. I wish I had some kind of grand advice, but I want you to know more than anything, if you're watching this because you're curious and you, or you have had a really bad night and you woke up and you're just like devastated at what you said or what you did, or you feel like garbage, just know one thing. You are not alone. You know how the algorithm works. Get on YouTube, get anywhere, get on Google and just search how to get sober or how do I find a community? Just find people that are sober or have been through it. Because if people have been through it, those are the people you should be talking to. They can give you the best advice. So you're not alone. If you don't have friends or family around you that you can go connect with and be supported by, get on the internet, look on YouTube, look on TikTok, just Google sobriety and it'll all start popping up. I'm sure of it, but other people have done it. You can do it too. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. I, I can't even believe I did it. I can't even believe I'm doing it. I don't want to say I did it because I want to keep going. And so I've got a family function to go to. I will bring my sparkling water. Um, I don't do mocktails. I don't um, do gummies or pot or anything else. That's just me. I just don't. Um, I'm happy just to go and just be me and, and just enjoy my life. I feel like I am enjoying my life 100% now because I'm clear for the most part, <laughs> for the most part. Um, if you would like to reach out for any reason, if you want to talk, if you need a friend, if you, um, I'm not like a sponsor type of material in my mind, but I would love to talk to you, guide you, um, and maybe find somebody that you know, through the podcast channels that I, I can find somebody that can help you, uh, feel free to reach out conversations at gmail.com. Um, I wanted to, I thought I wrote down a few things. You're not alone. Uh, yeah. Life is enjoyable without it. I wrote down. So hopefully this wasn't super boring for you. I just wanted to document it because when I originally made the video, I wanted to make myself, hold myself accountable. And a lot of people reached out to me, friends, family, and just said, wow, that took some serious kahunas to do that. 
And it did. And, but it feels good now to say, I did it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. That's it. I hope you have a great day. Um, if you don't already subscribe, subscribe to me, Conversations Podcast. I'd love to have you on board. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.